Silver City. It's a place that many Idahoans have never visited. To even get there, you have to spend hours driving down a windy dirt road, kind of washboardy. You get the idea. But back in the 1800s, it was a bustling mining town. More so even than Boise. Yeah. So many think ghosts of the city's past roam the streets and the hotel there. So we sent Lauren Johnson hunting. Not only is this hotel over 150 years old, but people died here. And some think it's haunted, so we're going to find out. I think every place is haunted if it's old enough. We'll all be ghosts someday. It's a tough way to look at life, isn't it? Roger Nelson owns the Idaho Hotel at the center of town, a place he calls home. A silver City was acquired by people who love it. You will not meet prouder old men of their shacks than the old men that own these shacks up here. Nelson's old shack is worn and full of history, and the town also old with rich stories to tell. His wife, Jerry, is eager to share. Some people definitely say, I cannot stay in that room again. They don't like me in that room. We had this one lady that would come back every year, and she loved room 26. She said the spirits are very, they like her. We've had several people say, ever see a guy in a long rider coat? And it's like, well, no, we haven't. Roger and Jerry share stories of a man, or is it a ghost, seen wearing a long riding coat. He's believed to be Samuel Lockhart. J. Marion Moore and Samuel Lockhart had a shootout, and Samuel Lockhart always wore the long rider coat. The gunfight was over a mining dispute, and both men died in Silver City. J. Marion Moore was buried in Idaho City, but Samuel Lockhart, well, people say he's still here, inside this hotel, and they say there's someone else, a ghost walking the hallways in a tuxedo. Okay, the guy in the tux is Odie Broombaugh, an old owner of the hotel, who actually shot himself in the south wing of the hotel. We're told that ghosts have shown up in this mirror, in photographs. I snapped selfie after selfie looking for any ghostly photo bomb, hoping I might meet Odie, but nothing. Okay, so this is room 10. This is the one where the lady at the lace. Guests have seen her floating in this room, going in and out of walls, floating on the balcony, and even screaming. Oh my gosh! If they're here <coughs> and they're haunting it, they're reasonably friendly. Have try you to, ever had anyone so scared they we, left? We try to keep that to a minimum. <laughs> yeah, I've had people check in. And, and back out at 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning. At 2.30 in the morning, that's when we did experience something. Our photographer, Doug, woke up at that exact time, turned on his audio recorder and rolled over to go back to sleep. The recorder captured this electronic voice phenomena, or EVP. Did you hear that? Listen closely. Was it a voice from the spirit realm? Hard to tell, but Doug did toss and turn. So it could have been Odie, or Samuel, or the lady in lace saying, don't move. I did it. I spent the night in this hotel that's over 150 years old. I slept great like a baby, or maybe they were those ghosts that were helping me sleep. Whether or not it's haunted, you'll have to find out for yourself. In Silver City, Lauren Johnson, Idaho on your side. Don't move. <laughs> People ask me, you've never been to Silver City? And I say, now you know why. <laughs> I haven't either, actually. And now I'm not. Okay. So